five o'clock in the morning and I'm off to work on my scooter. Um, it's a two-hour commute and uh, for the first part because I live in the sticks near Hoods, Ontario uh, it's on gravel road. They had recently um, graded the gravel road and uh, sprayed it with uh, water and a mixture of whatever they put on this thing but it made it makes it really slippery for the scooter scooters tiny wheels so I'm taking a little bit easy here and as you can see the sun is just coming up and uh, it's uh, another beautiful morning there's a little rabbit I didn't see too much wildlife this morning but I'm um, almost on the eye out f for it especially in the early in the morning it's a little harder to see the uh, the deer and uh, other uh, raccoons, porcupines, whatever comes out, skunks. I believe it is down here that uh, I smelt uh, a little skunk odor in the air. Anyway, now I'm on to the, uh, the pavement and uh, heading uh, toward Hopetown. passing by Hope Town now and the sun is uh, rising a little bit more I love these mornings the uh, the freshness of them and the, and uh, now it's a little warmer um, as it's summertime so I don't have to bundle up too much so I f feel a little freer and I can enjoy the ride without uh, freezing my hands That's a nice little section here. As long as there's not too much traffic that I don't have to worry about what speed I'm going. Um, you know, as long as I'm uh, enjoying the ride, I, I there's no hurry. Because I have a two hour commute, I have to keep to a certain speed. So I keep, uh, I keep to 80 and uh, Unfortunately, on this bike, it's uh, 90 is the top speed for me, so uh, I'm keeping it wide open most of the way on the back roads. It's a lot of farm country, open country, so I get to smell the uh, good farm fresh smell in the morning and seeing the sunrise. It's a beautiful way to start the day seems to be more uh, you seem to be more aware or more close to it on on a scooter or a motorcycle even though I do wear the full fe face helmet which uh, believe me with the bugs is uh, advisable out here um, I do uh, I do have a connection with the the environment and the surroundings Anyway, I decide to stop in Elmont. I don't usually do this on a way in to work, but uh, seeing I was making a video this morning, I thought I'd stop for a few minutes and uh, show everybody the falls in Elmont, Ontario. And it's just a, a beautiful sight. The water has gone down a little bit since uh, since the spring. This spring was a the water was very high, so these falls were rushing since uh, since April since uh, the water f thawed but it's still beautiful and uh, coming through here quite a clip and this is uh, the site of the Mississippi River Power Corporation across the uh, across the way there uh, that uh, white dish square building and it's owned uh, by the town of Mississippi Mills and uh, it's the generation side of the former Almont Hydro and this is walking towards uh, the old train bridge I say old because now they've torn up the tracks as most of Ontario 
and they still have the beautiful uh, the bridge there and they've made an, a walkway which is really nice uh, just to go around and uh, see the falls themselves I've spent many a morning here in the spring uh, photogra pho photographing the, the, uh, the water and the falls just beautiful something about moving water Almont's a nice little town Main Street especially which uh, I didn't show you but uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful a lot of old stone buildings very uh, very historic area Anyway, this is the uh, outside of uh, Almont on the way to Ottawa. In fact, that's called the Ottawa Road right there. And I usually stop at this gas station for two reasons. The gas is usually a little bit cheaper. And it's a convenient spot to stop because I uh, go down the uh, the road toward Appleton. Appleton is called the Appleton Road, actually. Um, from here. To the left, uh, to the right, rather than uh, follow uh, the road toward the highway. Well, gassing up is uh, quite a, an easy uh, thing to do. It's usually about five dollars that I put in by the time I get to to Almont, and uh, you just have to be careful not to overfill the scooters because they can uh, can be flooded. Anyway, just a short. Uh, it's a. It's also a good spot to uh, rest up, stretch your legs, and especially if it's cold, you kind of uh, uh, earlier in the year you kind of slap your hands around and get your circulation moving again. And so I turn off the Appleton Road here and uh, head toward uh, Stittsville on the, the small black roads. In a car, I would go straight there and just get on to the. Uh, Highway 7, which you will see, I was, uh, I'm going to be crossing it here in a few seconds, but because I can only get up to 90, you can you stay off the uh, the highways with, uh, with this speed of a bike. People are already driving in cars uh, about, uh, you know, 100 and 110 on these side roads which are 80 so uh, on the highway they're very anxious and in a hurry to get everywhere but so far I found most uh, most drivers uh, very uh, very respectful of uh, me and my speed and, uh, once they realize I'm not just a small electric scooter, I, I can, uh, you know, go along at uh, at speed. Uh, they do give me uh, the respect uh, appropriate. Here we're passing through the town of Stittsville. It's a now it's a, a suburb of uh, Ottawa, I suppose, but uh, uh, still a little bit separated from it. And and this uh, this area, once you get into the uh, sixty kilometer an hour speed limits, uh, as this road is, um, the scooter comes into its own because you can keep up with traffic. Um, you're more comfortable more comfortable pa passing uh, uh, and being able to get back in uh, safely when I first started riding the bike last year and uh, started my first commute um, I was a little bit concerned uh, about what it would be like driving in the city But the, even after the first day I, I uh, did it, uh, I realized uh, how comfortable 
I feel on the scooter. Um, yeah, more more aware of your surroundings, uh, uh, even than in a car. Partially, I suppose, but you could, you, because you need to keep uh, alert. And as the main uh, the main thing I try to do is stay in all of the other drivers' uh, uh, line of sight. Uh, sometimes it's a little hard because uh, as the guy on the left there I was trying to stay uh, out of his blind spot but he would speed up to get ahead of me uh, missing the point anyway staying staying on to the to the left so the driver ahead of me can see me uh, in his left mirror and uh, if cars uh, are on my right or my left I do not I don't stay just uh, beside them so that I'm in their blind spot. I try to uh, stay out of that. Uh, here for example I don't just go slow. I speed up until I'm past the car so that they know where I, s where I am. And uh, the car on my left there I stay back far enough so that he can see me in his uh, right side mirror giving good space all around myself is uh, is a, is a something I always try to do using the brakes and giving good warning to the uh, person behind me too keeping an eye on them to make sure that they know I am stopping anyway this is not a tutorial on how to ride obviously uh, most people know how to do that but um, if uh, people have uh, concerns about riding a scooter uh, commuting through traffic um, I, had, I had not done it until last year and uh, I find it very uh, <coughs> very easy to um, get used to but I have driven for a long time a, a car for a long time and uh, I, I find I drive uh, just about the same way as I do in a car uh, as far as speed, um, safety, distances, and etc. Um, I don't drive crazier in a car because I feel safer. I just, uh, I always drive cautiously. Anyway, we're almost to work now. It's just around the next block there. And uh, I decided to stop and have a nice old Canadian breakfast at uh, A&W. And they make a wicked breakfast here. I just uh, This is a new A&W. It opened up uh, maybe a month ago or something. And uh, the, the staff there are great. Um, the food is great. The coffee I find really good too. And after uh, the long ride in... Um, I find it's great. It's just uh, nice to stop and sit inside and have a good meal before I uh, sit down to the computer all day at work. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and this is Traveler out.